The HP Pavilion 15 gaming laptop has been immensely popular. With its slim design and sleek bezels, it has been on everybody's shortlist as it's priced very competitively, sometimes around about $600. It is a gamer's paradise. So here I'm going to test nine games. The laptop comes with a 4-core, 8-thread CPU, it's the i5-8300H, base clock 2.3, boost clock of 4GHz. For GPU it has the GTX 1050Ti with 4GB of uh, VRAM, has one stick of 8GB uh, DDR4 2666MHz RAM, and it has a 1TB 5400RPM hard drive boosted with Optane memory. All games were tested at the screen's native resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now Far Cry 5 was tested using the inbuilt benchmark. Minimum frame rates in orange, average in green, and indeed normal to high settings is perfectly okay here on the uh, pavilion. Um, averaging around about 45 to 48 FPS, uh, minimums in about uh, 40 FPS. So it is playable certainly for a single player game. Now, Ark Survival Evolved is a very tough game to play for, for most computers. So uh, let's take a look and see how this performs. With low settings, it plays really well. But to be honest, the game looks rather poor at low settings. So medium settings, it does look pretty nice. And it's not too bad. You know, averaging 43 FPS uh, with minimums around about 28. Forget about high and epic settings. It's just not that playable. Doom isn't a demanding game. It's actually playable on most uh, hardware, but you do need fast frame rates. This is uh, taken from a single player mission using OpenGL 4.5. Even at high or ultra settings, you're getting high frame rates, minimums in the about 60 FPS and uh, averaging around about 78, so that is nice. The Witcher 3 has been out for some time now, but it's still immensely popular. And it is also very demanding on PC hardware with all the weather effects, wind and so forth. You need a good CPU and GPU to play this nicely you're probably best sticking off to a max of a medium settings because you do get variations depending in which part of the game you are at. Uh, now in this level I was at, uh, I was averaging about 57 FPS with minimums of 47 and certainly it was playable then. But uh, certainly upping up to high or ultra, yeah, it's certainly going to drop down. So I would say stick to medium and you'll be good. Considering that PUBG has lots of players on a large map, it does play okay on most systems, but you do want a high frames per second, so let's take a look at this one. With a 1050 Ti, you can actually get away with playing with Ultra, but if you want to be competitive, you probably best drop down to low, whereby you're averaging about 71 FPS and just close to a minimum of about 60 to try and avoid those dips. So, but certainly it's very playable. Overwatch is another competitive game that demands fast frame rates. But fortunately, it does scale quite well with most PC hardware. So let's take a look. Anything from Ultra downwards gives excellent frame rates, particularly minimums, you know, approaching about 85 uh, FPS minimum. And even the average is about 98. That is great. And it doesn't look as if the single channel RAM is negatively affecting this. So the 1050 Ti and i5-8300H combo works very well. Rainbow Six Siege also demands fast frame rates, but it is quite scalable on most PC hardware. Here I use the inbuilt benchmarking tool to measure the frame rates. Interestingly, Ultra, High and Medium had the same minimum frame rates. Possibly this could be due to the single channel RAM. But either way, the average frame rates are certainly pretty good, you know, approaching 90 FPS. So whatever setting you choose, you're going to have a comfortable gameplay here. Shadow of the Tomb Raider can be configured in both DX11 and DX12 modes, and I test both here. It is a demanding game, utilizing special lighting effects, particularly if you have ray tracing cards. But let's see how the HP Pavilion copes with this. So I use the inbuilt benchmark to record these and have DX11 in orange and DX12 in green. Interestingly, you do get slightly higher performance in DX12, around about 10%. Either way, once you hit medium settings, you do hit a bit of a bottleneck here in about 30 FPS. I recommend for the smoothest gameplay, sticking to low settings, and it still looks pretty good at that. I test Battlefield 5 in both DX11 and DX12 in a big 64 player map. In DX11, there was definitely a huge bottleneck. The minimums are in the 30s regardless of quality setting, and the average frame rate's in the high 40s. This could well be caused by this single channel RAM forget about playing in DX12. Anything higher than low was a slideshow. So there you have it. Most games are really playable. Just the odd game like Battlefield 5 does struggle. And I think adding a second stick of RAM will help solve that one. I'd like to thank you for watching. 
Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.